Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to change the hydraulic oil return filter on a John Deere 35G. First thing you want to do is make sure the hydraulic tank is vented. There's always a little bit of pressure on it. So it's just like a radiator cap. You turn it, push down, turn it some more, pop it off, and that'll relieve any pressure that's in the tank. If you don't do that, hydraulic oil will come out. I leave that off right there like that. And this canister, this is your hydraulic return filter. You're going to need a 13 millimeter socket on a ratchet, and you're going to undo these four bolts. Now underneath this cap, there is a spring. So I like to do two bolts across from each other first. And that spring's going to want to push up a little bit. So I hold the spring down with one hand while I undo the last two bolts. Now you can release it and it will come up just a little bit. You can pull the lid off. Underneath it is a spring. Pull the spring out. And underneath that spring is what they call a bypass valve. You want to pull that out as well. Now once those are out, I like to have a little bit of a drain pan or something to put the filter in so we're not leaking oil anywhere. The oil filter just lifts up and pulls out. I let some of the oil drain a little bit. And then I put my catch can underneath it so we're not spilling oil anywhere. Once we get the new filter, we want to check that it's the same as the old filter. Sometimes aftermarket filters have slight differences. So what we're looking for is if you see they're the same on the top and the bottom. We want to see the same length. We want to see the same diameters on the inside and the outside on both ends. This is an aftermarket filter, this is an OEM filter, and they look the same. You just drop the new filter in. There's a little pipe on the bottom that you have to do by feel, and then you'll feel the filter drop on it. Give a little push to make sure it's in. Put the bypass back in. Put the spring back on. Flip the cap over. Put it in, on, and do up your lot, your four bolts. When you're doing up these four bolts, I like to do the second one across from the first one. It brings the cap down evenly. Make sure you have a good seal. Make sure you put the hydraulic tank cap back on. Make sure it's tight. And that is how you change the hydraulic oil return filter on a John Deere 35G.